Hi, and welcome back to Catholic Mom and Dodger. So it is just me, Kate, today. And today I'm going to take you through all of my 11th grade curricula. So we get a lot of questions about what programs and books we use for our homeschool. So today I wanted to give you a rundown of everything that we're going to be using for our upcoming school year. So I've got some of the books behind me. I'll be going through all of those as well as going subject by subject and going over all of the different programs that we have chosen. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so let's get started with math. Let's get started with my least favorite subject. So this year I'm going to be doing geometry. Both my brother and I did algebra one and two back to back. So instead of doing algebra two in my junior year, I'm going to be doing geometry. And what we've chosen for that is the teaching textbooks geometry it's in the bottom part of the screen um so my brother did this and it worked really well for him so i'm going to be doing it this year it is all online we did however go back and buy the physical textbook this is going to make it a lot easier if we need to flip back to a particular lesson or look at back at particular problems this was a lesson that was learned with my brother that is probably going to be easier to have the book instead of trying to print out all the different pages all right so the next subject is science and for that we are going to be doing physics I think I just nailed my own coffin shut by choosing traditional physics over conceptual physics. But anyway, we're going to be using Exploring Creation with Physics. This is by Dr. Weil. I have used his programs for the past two years. I used his biology and I used his chemistry last year. I am happy that I will be back with Dr. Weil's programs, which I know that I like and that work for me. This will also be coupled with nature and science reading. So let me go ahead and show you the books or some of the books that we've chosen. The first one is My Family and Other Animals. Then we have The Healing Woods. Then we have We Took to the Woods. And we have Galileo's Daughter. So for history this year, I need my early American history credit. So that's what we're going to be looking at. We're going to be using Homeschool Connections, one of our favorite homeschool providers. We've done videos about them. I'll link them in the description for you. So we are going to be doing Early American History, 1492 to 1763, Discovery to the Dawn of the Revolution with Philip Campbell. He is one of our favorite teachers. And then we're also going to be doing the sort of sequel to that class that goes from the Revolution up to the Civil War. And we are gonna be supplementing that with a lot of reading, though in the class, Philip Campbell does have us reading primary sources as well. But let me show you what books we have picked out for these two classes. Walk the World's Rim or The King's Fifth. These two are kind of up for debate, which one we'll read. Then The Great Little Madison, Alexander Hamilton, The Outsider, Traitor, The Case of Benedict Arnold, and George Washington, Spymaster. The Adventures of Theodore Roosevelt, Code Talker, a book that I actually started once upon a time but never finished, Chasing Lincoln's Killer, Mr. Lincoln's High Tech War. All right, so next up we have foreign language. For me, that means Spanish. So I actually have three credits of Spanish already. So this year I will be doing Spanish, but I'll be doing it kind of on a down low. So I have an aunt who is fluent in Spanish. So last year we started reading a book together once a week in Spanish that we read and translate and then go over together. I'm going to be continuing doing that this year. I also have another book that I read just a couple of pages from every single day. I forgot to bring it up here, but I'll put a picture on the screen. But all I'm gonna be doing for Spanish this year is continuing that reading and translating. We are going, I think, to try to form it into a fine arts credit of some sort, since I'm probably going to just be doing enough time to maybe get that half credit. So it's not gonna be intensive foreign language, but it's still gonna be happening. 
So for English, we are going to be using the One Year Adventure Novel. So this program I am actually very excited about because over the course of the year, you're going to be writing either like a novella or a short novel. So it has you reading excerpts, it does have you reading a book, The Prisoner of Zenda. The program teaches you all about crafting a good story and how to do that, what goes into it. So I'm super, super excited. So let me take you and show you what is inside this box. Okay, let's take a look inside the One Year Adventure Novel box. All right, so the program is video based. So these are all the CDs for the video lessons. Then we have the Prisoner of Zenda. Like I mentioned, we're gonna be reading it for the program. It also has a teacher's guide and this one includes the student tests. There is also a textbook that comes with it that has the daily reading assignments in it. And there is also the workbook where you are planning out your story. And then of course, for English, we have reading. So let me take you through some of those books now as well. We have The Hiding Place, The Chosen, To Kill a Mockingbird, Ender's Game, Persuasion, and then either Keeping Company with St. Ignatius or the Ramsey Scallop. So for religion, we have two classes. These are also through Homeschool Connections. They're both recorded courses. The first one is the history of the church in 100 objects with Gary Machuda. So we've done some of his classes before. We did them last year. We really enjoyed them. They're very interesting. So we're going to be using another one of his this year. The class is supplemented with the book, The History of the Church in 100 Objects. It is not assigned reading, but we are going to be reading it. And the second class for the second semester that we've chosen is World Religions with Dr. Robert Gotcher. So we've never done any of his classes before, but it sounds really, really good. And World Religions also sounds very interesting. It's something that I think is fascinating. So I'm very excited to do his class. We are also going to be doing some other reading for religion as well. So let me show you those books. The first one is the one I just talked about, A History of the Church in 100 Objects. Also St. Gianna Mola and The Gargoyle Code. So for PE this year, we are trying something completely new and kind of out of the box. And that is we are going to be virtually walking the Camino de Santiago. So we are going to be using the Conqueror app, which allows you to track your miles and it shows you where you would be if you were actually there walking the Camino, which is crazy. What a world we live in with all this technology. So we are aiming to do this in about five months, which I think is somewhere around three miles every day, seven days a week. So it's not that far every single day, but who knows, it might prove to be more difficult than we think. And then I believe in the spring, we're going to pick another place to walk because the Conqueror app does have a lot of different options. It's not just the Camino. You can walk, you know, in Mount Fuji, you can walk all sorts of different trails. So we're probably going to pick another one of those out in the spring to do once we conquer the Camino. And we will also be doing some PE reading, of course, like everything has supplemental reading with it. So let me show you those books. So the first one is Brain Powered Weight Loss, which is a lot about how your mindset and your brain affects weight loss. And also the big five. And of course, we will be continuing doing YouTube. Last year, YouTube was my computer science. And this year, we'll probably be doing it to roll maybe with Spanish into a fine arts credit. And in case anybody is wondering, no, none of these classes are going to be in affiliation with any co-op. We stopped with our co-op last year when COVID hit. And then just with circumstances of filming and editing with YouTube and family and having busy schedules, we're not gonna be going back to any co-op this year. So there you have it. That is what my 11th grade year is going to be looking like curricula and program and book wise. 
So let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. And also if you're a homeschooling family, what are some of the programs that you're gonna be using this year? So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you found it maybe a little bit helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye.